Hey fellow explorers, tonight I am out in San Diego's Gas Lamp District. It is Comic Con time, and I want to show you all the festivities here in the Gas Lamp Quarter at night. This street, Fifth Avenue, has recently been turned into a pedestrian street, so you can walk all the way from the San Diego Convention Center, where I'm starting this video, to Broadway without any cars, which is really nice. I did this video in the daytime a couple weeks ago when they first opened this up, uh, the first week of July, and a lot of people said, Chris, you need to come back at night. What does it look like at night? And there is no busier time in downtown San Diego than during Comic-Con. This is when this whole neighborhood turns into a gigantic party. I'm doing this walk on Wednesday night, July 19th. This is preview night of Comic-Con. So this is the first night of Comic-Con and everybody right now is walking out of the convention center back to their hotels, their cars, or into the restaurants and bars that are here in the gas lamp. Uh, I'm gonna flip this gimbal around just a little bit because it's actually supposed to go that way. <coughs> All right, pardon me for that spin move. Now, where the pedestrian promenade starts typically is gonna be right here at 5th and K. So the part that I just walked on from Harbor and K, usually cars drive on that, but they've closed it off special for Comic-Con. Now you can see there are lots of people down here. If they've got big bags on their shoulders, that means they just came from the convention center. Everybody who goes to Comic-Con gets a big bag with them. Now, the pandemic brought lots of outdoor dining to San Diego, and so a lot of these restaurants have really capitalized on that here in the gas lab. This restaurant is called Union Kitchen and Tap, and the guy who was just walking by had a nice sword. Great part about Comic-Con, people dress up for cosplay. This restaurant right here, uh, sports bar, got like sports, baseball playing outside. And special for Comic-Con is restaurants that have been taken over as something else. So Paramount has taken over these two spots. I think this used to be Dick's Last Resort uh, for Paramount The Lodge. So you can go in there and take pictures with like SpongeBob SquarePants and other Paramount characters. And uh, you can see this is the the line to go in. Typically during Comic-Con, these things that are outside of the convention typically don't require any uh, badges or anything to go in. The general public is welcome to come. And so I often recommend people in San Diego, even if you don't have tickets to Comic-Con, definitely to come down here during convention time just to experience all that is San Diego's biggest party. And you can even see the hotels and the buildings get wrapped up. Uh, this is promoting Daryl Dixon on AMC. And the, uh, the pedicabs there in the action for the night lit up nice and green. Back there we've got the Margaritaville Hotel. It's five o'clock somewhere. I don't think that's usually the Margaritaville Hotel. Or if it is, I'm not fully up on my hotels. These signs that say no vending zones, California recently passed an ordinance to basically allow street vending just about anywhere, uh, but San Diego said, yeah, the gas lamp is one area where we don't want street vending because when they first allowed it, there were just way too many street vendors that were down here. All right, and uh, so it's, uh, it's Wednesday. I would imagine on Friday or Saturday, we're gonna see people <coughs> seated out here. And if you think this is hustling and bustling, Friday and Saturday night is definitely gonna be where it's at. Now, sometimes people say, well, Chris, you know, where, like when I did my other videos, people like, Chris, where are the homeless? And uh, you know what, downtown San Diego does have a lot of homeless. They tend to not hang out right in the heart of the gas lamp, though you will see them around. But if you go a few blocks further up in the numbers, uh, where you go up to like uh, 15th, 16th, like that, that's where a lot of them are. Also, when we cross Broadway, that's where a lot of them are too. But if you stay here in the heart of the gas lamp, pretty nice, interesting shops here. You can get some Middle Eastern inspired lamps. This is a crepe and ice cream shop. And uh, Zamka 
Zamka? Zema. There's no K in Zema. She kind of has like an overall neat vibe in here. This used to be a Thai restaurant, and actually my wife and I have rung in a number of New Year's here in this Thai restaurant when it was uh, actually a Thai restaurant. Uh, now, if we look out in this direction, you can see all the high rises in downtown San Diego back up that way. There's been a lot of condominium and apartment construction here that's been fueling a lot of the boom in this area. If you would have come down here 20 years ago, completely different, very sad. Uh, but I think Comic-Con has actually played a big role in putting downtown San Diego on the map, particularly Convention Center. A lot of people come out to conventions and they want something to do after the convention. What do they want to do? They want to go eat. They want to go drink. Uh, maybe they want to stop in at the Wahoo Golf Bar. That's what this one is. I wonder what the... Oh, hey, there we go. In the back, there's uh, someone teeing off some golf in the back. That's kind of neat. There's someone playing a conga drum on the other side. Here, let's go take a look at this guy. Over in front of Lefty's Cheesesteaks. And uh, one of the big pubs famous in the gas lamp is The Field. This is an authentic Irish bar that's been here for quite a long time. If you come on St. Paddy's Day, this place is really quite busy. And so a lot of these have small frontage, but then there's like nightclubs or bars that are down lower levels, like you can see just down that staircase. And there's even things that are up on upper floors here too. So quite dense here in the gas lamp. Unusual for most places in the USA where you basically get things on one floor only, but you'll see them on a number of floors here. This is El Chingon, bad ass Mexican is their subtitle. I can't tell you how tasty the Mexican is there. Uh, we will walk by the Mexican I recommend for you if you're looking for some cheap and tasty tacos. Uh, here, this is salt water, fine dining cuisine. If you're looking for some high-end seafood, you will find it out here. They've got that nice little lamps and the flowers out here in the gas lamp. So looking back, this is where we started the walk, right here at the convention center. As I put my hand in, it turns out of focus, so maybe I won't do that anymore. But as we cross uh, Fifth and Market, this is the gas lamp scramble. So this is scramble crossing. You can cross in any which direction. In the middle of the street, it says gas lamp quarter. We've got some people singing songs back there. People often say, Chris, where should I park? My recommendation for you, the parking garage right up there called uh, Park it on Market. It is on 6th and Market, a pretty cheap city-owned parking garage if you can get a spot. Barley Mash, this is a big restaurant, bar. They got sports, corks, forks, taps, and caps, says their sign. Next to that is Henry's Pub. This one is a little less lively, but most of these restaurants or bars will all have somebody out here like the podium, either checking to make sure you're 21 or checking to make sure you've got a reservation. Uh, just pretty typical for the guest lamp. It's the, hey, and now it's Super Henry's Pub. There we go, very good. All right, if you say people should come on in. Uh, yeah, very good. So I love it when there's friendly people out there. Now this one, what, American Junkie? I don't, I really don't know what's going on with like grandma there in the back on the music video. But uh, tonight, what do they got going on? You got drag bingo, 50 cent wings, and three dollar white claws. Looks lively. If you like ice cream, definitely check out the Ghirardelli ice cream shop with the neon on it. They've got really good hot fudge sundaes now appearing on their movie screen. Uh, and oftentimes, if you just walk in, you might even get like a free ice cream. Next to it is the Melt, 
where you get the world's meltiest burger. So you can get grilled cheese too. Not streaming, but you'll find, do you want to say something on camera? This will be on in about an hour or two. What do you think about the gas lamp district here? Into the microphone. It's fun. Fun. Did you go to Comic Con today? Uh, no. I no. just got here. Oh, are you going tomorrow? Uh, I, are we going tomorrow? No, 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 no. That's, uh, that's why we didn't get this stuff. Yes, we're going tomorrow. All right. Oh, we're what's, going tomorrow. What are you most excited for tomorrow? Walking around. All right. Have a good time at Comic Con. Yeah, you too. See ya. You'll find this on Yellow Productions tomorrow. They were so excited to be on camera. All right. I wanted to go inside Ghirardelli. This is one of those where people go like, hey, are you filming? Can I be on it? And then when you put people on camera, they don't quite know what to say. Hey, but I appreciate you kids for being super good sports, so thank you very much. Uh, all right, so inside Ghirardelli, here we go, nice and bright. We've got the old school kind of soda fountain bar back here, chocolate fudge shop, and then they've got all the Ghirardelli chocolates. This is famous from San Francisco. How much does a hot fudge sundae cost you here? $14.95 for their hot fudge sundae. Definitely big enough to share, uh, and they <coughs> bring it to your table. All right. Across the street, we got the Butcher's Cut Steakhouse next to Greystone Steakhouse. This particular area has a lot of steakhouses. Uh, here's a Vans shoe store next to what used to be an Urban Outfitters that is now out of business. Some people walking down the street and cosplay like, what, maybe like Iron Man masks or something like that. Uh, this place uh, definitely looks to be a nightclub to open a little later looks quite festive inside so obviously at what nine o'clock at night you know this place is still just getting going and it's probably going to be even more hopping as it uh 10 or 11 o'clock comes this guy he's got a big flash on him right there no doubt taking some photos what uh what san diego hasn't figured out is is this area just pedestrian only or is it open to bikes and right now it's open to wheeled traffic but I think they are rethinking that with uh, uh, sometimes the number of bikes that might take over the pedestrian promenade. This definitely seems like the nighttime bike ride right here. I'm gonna let them all go through uh, before I go. Okay, there we go. This is crossing G Street. This used to be a movie theater. Now it is Mr. Tempo cantina we've got someone playing the guitar back over here and uh, i want to walk you over to mr tempo cantina because it looks pretty neat inside too We can peek in here. They got a little bar that's out here on the sidewalk. And then the area that I thought was actually really cool was this part of it that's like uh, neon themed. I guess this must be like, that's the restaurant section and this is the nightclub section. All right, that should be hopping tonight. Across the street, what did we miss? We missed Italian food. We missed Whiskey Girl. We missed more Italian food. We missed Pizza Lounge, Pizza by the Slice, Gas Lamp Burger in the corner. And uh, there's a lot of these buildings up on top are hotels. So all these restaurants on the side. And then right here is the AC Hotel Gas Lamp that heads right up that way. And uh, why did I just turn the camera to look at myself? You know what I look like, you don't need to see me. It's because I clicked my trigger button three times instead of two to turn this back forward. Uh, if you're looking for ceviche, Karina's Cantina makes some good ceviche. But I told you, I'd show you my favorite taco shop down here, and I will. It's right here, it's Tacos El Gordo. This is a taco shop from Tijuana, Mexico. They specialize in tacos. They are busy, like, all the time. This very brightly lit corner on 5th and F Street. They got a security guard that stands at the front to keep the line in place. Uh, a taco here is gonna cost you four bucks. 
uh, and they're most famous for their adobada, which is the meat that kind of goes round and round like a gyro. So I'll say it's all pretty good. Uh, and you can see a lot of happy taco eating customers right down here. And you basically order at these different windows inside and then you come pay after you've gotten all your food at the different uh, people that make it. All right, so when we cross F Street, uh, the party starts to wind down a little bit that way on 5th. So instead, I'm going to take us down 4th to get over to Broadway. Uh, because pretty much everything on 5th Avenue this way of significance is like now pretty much out of business. Which is unfortunate. All right, here at the... Laugh Factory, which is a, a comedy store, a comedy store, it's a comedy club. Uh, they've also got a taco shop right out in front if the line at Tacos El Gordo is too long. And another Irish bar right over here. Patrick's Gas Lamp Pub. This kind of darkish thing, this used to be Horton Plaza, which was a big shopping mall in the center of downtown. It's turning into like the campus at Horton or Horton campus, something like that. Basically it'll be a, I'll say scaled down shopping mall and a bunch of mm, creative offices for like tech companies and things like that. Uh, <clears throat> and as we come down forth here, this is not pedestrianized anymore. You can see we've got cars that come down here, uh, but what I wanted to point out in particular is the Balboa Theater. Uh, if you can ever see a show at the Balboa Theater, it is a really neat venue. It's a old movie theater that's like a three-story movie theater that had some of San Diego's like first air conditioning. It was like air conditioned by waterfalls. I saw a concert by Weird Al Yankovic there, which was totally a lot of fun. Uh, and then there's a square in front of Horton Plaza in front of that Balboa Theater. It's currently under construction, uh, but should be open soon. All right, well, fellow explorers, that's your tour of the Gas Lamp Quarter at night during San Diego Comic-Con. If you wanna see more of my videos from Comic-Con tours inside the convention center, as soon as I finish those tomorrow, they'll be linked right here under the screen. But until then, subscribe, follow Yellow Productions for more great videos on San Diego and beyond. Japan, Las Vegas, wherever you want to go, chances are I've got a travel guide on that place. Well, chances are if I've been there, I've got a travel guide on that place, and hopefully you want to go there too.